You can feel the energy of the love and who we really are. This is what we do. We connect. So we just got connected. So now you're going to meet the brothers and sisters here that's going to share with you some of their skills and some of their talents and uh, aspirations. We can give them about five minutes because we were scheduled to be here for two hours, but we're going to take another 30 minutes. It's a party. It's a family reunion. So let's take that extra 30 minutes and just have a great time. Uh, we're going to start with our doctor. Dr. Sari, he needs no introduction, but we're going to just say he is the brother that wrote the book, Chosen to Heal. And when you listen to him, you will know who he is, Dr. Sari. Come on out. I think, should I go to Nitra? No, no. I hope you can hear me. There you go. She knows what she said. We've been in this struggle for years. I remember when we started about 1995, when I proposed the idea of the United African Nation Without Borders. And uh, we said, how can that be? I said, well, if all races are keeping their world within their confines. And the whole world look at the African race like we are the idiots in the park. <laughs> because they say when money enters into the African community, within six hours it's gone. And that's why we are poor. Uh, do we know why Forests are very, very, very potent with their roots and their leaves and everything. Because in the forest, both the shrubs and the tall trees and the mangroves and everything work together. What I'm saying is that I don't care where you come from, you are an African. Right. You see, uh, I've, in all my travels in some of the states in America, I've never met any Caucasian saying, I'm an Italian American. It's only us that try to describe ourselves, I'm an African American. We are an African for God's sake, period. All right, man? Okay. So, if we believe and know who we are, are we living who we are? When I introduce some of my formulas and recipes in some of my thoughts, I did a very lengthy talk in California in 208. And I made it very clear that I don't care how long you've left the continent. The architecture of God has not changed. I heard one funny person talking about it according to your blood group. I said, that's trash. Look, <laughs> why do we Africans just accept any trash? Because some so-called prestigious institute from somewhere imposed that trash on us so we have to decorate it. A decorated cockroach is still a cockroach. Mm. And a decorated rat is still a rat. Mm. We are not by mistake in the center of the world. Okay, anything that is in the center is the one that keeps equilibrium. Yes. Physics tells us this. So how can we be in the center and still be the people who are always tilted to the left and right, finding our equilibrium where we are supposed to be the equilibrium? 
There's a lot of lessons for us to learn when it comes to investment. And people talk about, oh, people want to invest, but because of the idea of trust, trust, trust. What do you call trust? Have you learned about trust? You know what? In Ghana here, our courts allow people to affirm either as a Christian with the Bible or a Muslim with the Quran or if you are a traditionalist with the power of our deities. Since you've been here for some time now, ask any Kenyan, which one do they fear most? <laughs> Look, I have proposed something to the AU through the representative from Ghana. And I know if it is implemented, Africa will be free of corruption. There was a case that some of you know about what is called African mission, African traditional religious mission. And there were a whole lot of lies until the wrath of the African traditional mission came and said that I, Adikum Osuko Kroko, as I stand here, I stand in the name of God and all the energies God created into all the things He's created, especially our rivers, because water gives us light. The testimony I'm coming to give now, if that testimony is going to affect negatively the lives of the generations that are coming after us, May all the spirits and energies in all the things the Supreme Lord has created ask me a question, and not only me, but with my whole family, those before and after me. Do you know how that case ended? The other side of the case, who knew they were lying, they came and swore with the Bible, but they came back to the African house at the weekend to tell the priest that, oh, you know what, uh, let's get a case out of court and settle it at home. So you knew you were lying. You were holding the Bible to swear and you were lying. You knew in your heart you were lying. Why should we settle it at home? Because he knows that with the collective energies of all Africans, if you invoke these energies, they work, and they work fast. That is what I call karma by taxi. <laughs> it doesn't go by a rolling boat. The karmic effect it comes as if it, it's, it's, a, it's an Uber car coming to pick you from your house. You see, so we must know those rules. And because of the lack of knowledge about those rules, that is the reason why we are not having the loyalty, we are not having the truthfulness that we are supposed to have, and it is stalking the amount of investment that we have to make. And you see, when we talk about investment, we are not talking about physical structures. The greatest investment is the investment of right knowledge. And that's what we all need, either both from the continent or with our family from the diaspora. We need the right knowledge. You see, when people say knowledge is power, I say, what kind of knowledge are you talking about? The knowledge that were put in the colonial history books where we were taught that Mugupa came and discovered the river Niger. Why people were swimming in the river Niger? Is that knowledge? <laughs> it's the knowledge that makes you know that when I eat this food and this food, it can give me this effect. 
And we're not having all those big names about diseases and this. Western medical science is symptomatic. They treat symptoms. They don't go to the root of things. Just like my book says, Chosen to Heal. I'm not the only person chosen to heal. The whole African continent is chosen to heal. And we can do that. I like what my brother just said about uh, investing in human beings, teaching them, probably opening institutions to train people and all that. Look, I read the United Nations report somewhere in 1981, and there was a profound statement. It says the only animals that kill one another on the basis of hatred, envy, and jealousy are called humans. Why are people making a lot of bombs? Africa, we are the only people not making guns. So if there is a healing, we are the only people who can heal. I don't know what kind of uh, ammunition factory there is on the islands, either in Barbados, Jamaica, or whatever. Africans don't make guns. I'll come back again to talk about uh, other areas of investment, especially in the herbs. Because in Africa, there's nothing like weeds. That's why when they brought the weedy sites, they are killing people. But we just have either herbs or food or wood. So when you bring your weedy site, you are poisoning either the herbs or the food. So those who are interested, you see, I I came with my entourage, a strong entourage. So we are serious to put out something today to talk to our family from across the ocean. Because I was coming there to talk. But now I think when you come here to help us, we are making up a farm. I'm working with Brother Dave, and uh, we are saving seeds. Because, as you all know, I don't care whatever hard work you do, at the end of the day, if you don't have right health, it's a wasted life. Mm -hmm. Whilst at the time when you are old enough to be playing with your grandkids or to be having a jolly time with yourself even outside because maybe throughout all your age you have been looking after your children and that. So we now have to look at our health and look at it properly if we come to invest. Thank you. Okay. We have to tell you your wealth. Um, we have a young lady that's been